Oh, we're joined live now on the phone by Major John Marasco with New Hampshire State Police. So good afternoon, Major. Oh, good afternoon, Sharice and Sean. Thank you for having me. Hey, no problem. So we just saw some photos from State Police. Can you give us an update on, on what you're hearing about the conditions out there right now? Absolutely. So I'm here at the uh, Hooks of Toll Plaza, and I can tell you that the, uh, the snow is still coming down sideways at a rapid rate. And um, the traffic seems to have slowed down a little bit as far as volume. I can tell you that this morning between 7 and 9, uh, snow crews had a, a real challenge ahead of them because the snow was accumulating so quickly that we had a lot of vehicles that were, were stuck uh, on, on and off ramps. For instance, exit 13 in Concord. At one point, we had uh, 20 or more vehicles that were stuck at one of the ramps there, and um, we had to work to get the, get those people back on their way. Um, but as far, as far as it goes right now, um, you know, I think I think we're we're going to be in better shape as the afternoon goes on. Um, since 10 o'clock last night. We did cover 195 crashes or respond to disabled vehicles. And I spoke with State Police Dispatcher Tim Flowers a short time ago, and he advised me that uh, currently throughout the state we have well over 50 pending calls for service. So uh, it's still very busy out there. The troopers are doing a phenomenal job, the officers around the state. We couldn't do it without Department of Transportation and, and the plow operators and, um, and all the wrecker operators that are responding to pull people out. So it's a great team effort. And you mentioned 195 calls and some pending as well. We saw that plow truck that had flipped over. Have you heard of any major injuries as a result of some of these crashes and spin outs in the last several hours? I don't have the specific information on that just yet, Sean, but I, you know, based on the fact that most people are heeding the, uh, the advice to slow down, most of the, uh, the crashes that we're dealing with are, are low speed crashes, low impact. And so um, injuries are, I believe, uh, very, very few. Um, based on the fact that a lot of the calls are pullouts, cars that were just um, going a little too fast for the conditions. And unfortunately, uh, even when the plows have cleared the snow off the roadway, there's still quite a layer of ice underneath, and uh, people don't expect that. So uh, as Ray said during his brief, uh, which I agree with all of that, um, if you don't have to travel today, ideally uh, remaining uh, at home or off the roads, that would be the, the best way to go. But if you do have to go out, just, just slow it down, give yourself more time, and, um, you know, you should, uh, as the afternoon goes on, you should be fine. All right, Major Morasco from New Hampshire State Police. Uh, they are very busy. Thank you very much.